Hello everyone, today I'm going to present the XTR RTM900 disc brake rotor. I bought this rotor because I'm riding a cross country bike with cross country tires which means less traction and I rode pretty often on technical descents and tend to brake with the rear a bit harder. So I managed to cook my disc brake and pads on the back. Here you can clearly see the burning marks on the surface of the old rotor. I had a Shimano SMRT 54M rotor at the back, wanted to upgrade to the M800, but that one went so pricey that the difference was acceptable between the XT and the XTR, so I opted for the XTR M900, just because I loved how it looks with the black cooling blades. Disclaimer, this only looks cool until you mount it to the bike, after it gets muddy and dusty it won't look as badass anymore, so you should not spend extra money on this just because it looks nice. Ok, so let's talk about the rotor itself. As you can see the packaging is the same as the much cheaper SLX. I was a little bit disappointed when I received it, no high tier XTR feeling. The only difference is the 3 golden bar on the front and that's it. The rotor itself is a pretty nice one, it feels great and well balanced in my hand. On the edges you can see that it was made like a sandwich from 3 layer to make it easier to cool down and still resistant to wear. The weight is also as slow as possible, clone that is a heavy duty rotor, with extra heatsink blades. Also the lock ring is extremely light, as well as 8 grams. Unfortunately I can't say that the braking performance is, is much better, I think it's exactly the same, however I have the same braking power even after a long descent, which means that it keeps my rear braking system in working temperature. Here I need to mention that I opted for the Shimano J03A raising braking pads with the heat sink for the extra cooling performance. In conclusion, I'm satisfied with the result. My braking power is the same in every descent. My brake does not start to squeak or make any noise even after braking harder and longer than usual, but still can say that it worth the money. When I bought this rotor it was 52 euros versus the M800 which was 45 euros. The price difference was not much, however I mentioned at the beginning it does not look cool after your bike gets dirty. The black blades attracts any dust and even after a bike wash the water droplets dries pretty ugly. Final thoughts, I do not recommend it. If you are a cross country rider there are lighter rotors, if you are enduro or downhill there are stronger but cheaper ones. If you like the design, the XT version looks probably as cool as this one. The steel cooling blades look better after getting dirty. But this is only my opinion. Thank you for staying with me this time, hope it was a useful video. Take care.